The first concept that I want to talk about is that usually when you think of populations, you think of large numbers, like the ones you see in this picture from herds and large urban centers of humans, for example. But populations don't have to be like this. Sometimes the populations will be sparse or spread out. This leads us to a concept that's called population density, or the idea that sometimes populations are going to be very packed together and sometimes they're going to be a lot more, more sparse. Look here, for example, at this graph, the human population around the Earth, showing you the density or how, may, how packed together people are living in certain areas. Look, for example, how in Asia, the population density is extremely high and, and also very high in Europe, especially Central Europe. Then you also have a little more population in Northern Africa, in Central Africa, and on the eastern side of North America. But if you look at this, it will give you a good picture of the area of the world where most of the humans are living at, and the areas where very rarely you will find humans. Maybe because those areas are inhospitable, too cold, or too hot, or too yet wild, and thank God, because we haven't messed with that yet. But those are very few areas around the world that humans are not found at all. But Still, there are very areas of the world where humans are very, very common. So urban centers are going to be where we have what we call large population densities. And places like the country or nature centers will have more sparse population densities. It will be harder for you to find people around. So that is an idea of density. And this is actually very important for ecologists because they don't want to care just about how many people are living in a certain area. They care, they care about how, how packed together those people are. So it's not just about how many births or how many death rates or how many people are moving from one place to the other, which is called migration. All of these things are important for, for ecologists and they will study these things. They will also study limiting factors which may might contribute to population growth or decline. But they also are interested in looking at the density of the population. But it's also important to understand that this is not going to be fluctuating. The density is not a, something that's going to stay the same forever. In fact, Asia didn't used to be so heavily populated uh, not too long ago. But when modernization of their societies, uh, there's been an explosion of the number of populations in recent years to the point that there's billions of people living in both China and India and lots also living in Southeast Asia. So population density is fluctuating and it's going to fluctuate depending on these things I just talked about, birth rates and death rates and migrations and limiting factors. That is what population ecology is all about, studying the things which make populations change or studying the compositions of populations across time.